Several studies showed that prolonged exposure to air pollution is associated with increased risk in mortality, in particular with cardiovascular mortality. But less clear is the association between air pollution exposure and incidence of coronary events, myocardial infarction and unstable angina. The ESCAPE study, which is the European study of cohorts of air pollution effects, has assessed this link based on 11 existing cohort studies. These cohort studies come from Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Germany and Italy. More than 100,000 subjects free from coronary events were enrolled from 1997 to 2007 and followed for an average of 12 years. During one year, within the SCAPE project, we conducted air pollution measurements in each location to measure particles, soot, nitrogen oxides, and we used these measurements to model the concentrations of pollutants at home addresses. With this data, we could show that there is a clear gradient across Europe with highest concentrations in Southern Europe. However, we could also show that there is substantial variation between the different addresses within each study location. To study the incidence of acute coronary events, we performed the analysis in two steps. First, we used in each country Cox models following street protocols of analysis. And second, we pulled the results using a random effect meta-analysis. During the follow-up, more than 5,000 subjects experienced a first event of myocardial infarction or unstable angina. When we assessed the link between the air pollution exposure at their residential addresses, and the risk of an incident myocardial infarction during the follow-up, we found a 12% increased risk for a myocardial infarction in association with the moderate increase of particles less than 10 micrometer in diameter. A 10 micrograms per meter cube increase in the estimated annual mean PN10 was associated with a 12% higher risk, with no evidence of heterogeneity between cohorts. The current annual European limit values are 25 micrograms per meter cube for PN2.5 and 40 micrograms per meter cube for PN10. And we were able to observe this association also when we restricted the analyses to, are to areas where the concentrations were below the current EU standards, which is 40 micrograms per cubic meter for particles smaller than 10 micrometer and 25 micrograms per cubic meter for particles smaller than 2.5 micrometer. We accounted for confounders such as social demographic factors, level of education, occupational status, marital status, area-based socioeconomic position and for lifestyle risk factors smoking, body mass index, alcohol consumption. They were also seen when we considered cardiovascular risk factors such as cholesterol levels or blood pressure. In addition, we observed these associations when we adjusted for other potential environmental factors such as noise. Misclassification of exposure could be possible we found a higher association restricting the analysis to studies with better performance of the exposure models. A certain bias is possible because for 9 out of 11 courts, the outcome was derived by record linkage procedures with hospital discharges and mortality registries. Nevertheless, 
we observed a consistent result across various regions in Europe and therefore consider our results generalizable to the population within Europe. We also consider that our results may be underestimated. We are concerned that the air pollution concentration we assign to the residential air addresses may incorporate some error. This error would rather result in an underestimation of the observed effects than an overestimation. To conclude, our study suggests an association between long-term exposure to particles and incidence of acute coronary events even for concentrations below the current European limit values.